Have you ever wondered why Morgoth conceals his identity and calls himself Margit on your first encounter? How is Morgoth ruling Leyendil in the first place? Morgoth is an omen. Everybody hates omen. And certainly the people from the capital are sure to hate them more than most, since even royal omen children are kept underground, unbeknownst to anyone for eternity. The Margit Shackle item lets us know that that's exactly what happened to Morgoth himself. At one point, he was shackled in the sewers. So given the people of Leyendel's distaste for Omen, why do they tolerate being ruled over by an Omen king? And the answer to that is because most people don't know. According to a Reddit post detailing a lot of cut content and cut dialogue, there was at one point an NPC called Viscount Shaneheit, who you would meet in Leyendel. He had a questline where he would ask you to kill the Omen in the sewers. And his dialogue is very revealing. This is what he says. Welcome, dear guest. After being out there, it must be quite surprising to see our capital, cradled by the Ur tree, showered by an eternal wellspring of grace. The sights, the sounds, the luscious scents, each precisely as they should be, and each eternal. Oh, I didn't notice you were tarnished. Now, you mustn't take this the wrong way, but you must leave the capital at once. It is for your own good, I assure you. All things have their proper place. We, having been chosen by grace, were given this golden capital. You, on the other hand, have your own home, which is a far cry from here. So far, in fact, that it cannot be further marred by your touch. The shattering caused a great many fools to overstep their bounds. Their impudence led to insurgency against Morgoth, Lord of Grace. They raised an army and sought to lay siege to this sacred ground. But do you see where it got them? King Morgoth's rule would not be shaken. Their attempt to defile the capital failed, and while we reveled in eternal grace, the traitors were eyed by the grotesque fell omen, and their corpses piled high outside the wall. The lesson here is self-evident. The capital is simply not where you belong. Then, after killing an omen, you can return to him, and this is his new dialogue. Well, what have we here? You hunt omen, do you? Mm-hmm. Yes, it appears so. Well, then perhaps we can talk. For a barber is tarnished, you see the difference between right and wrong rather clearly. Very well. I will permit you to stay in the capital for the time being. And in the name of the house Shaneheit, I beseech you, hunt down the foul omen. The undercapital is a repository of waste. For ages it's teemed with repulsive omen. Fiendlings, even, who've never lost a horn. And what's worse, they've taken to bellowing in a most blood-curdling manner. You can hear it all the way up here. A vile, ceaseless affront to the Erd Tree's sanctity. Get on with it, then. Hunt down the vile omen scurrying around in the undercapital, and give us peace from those wretched howls. I know you can do it. Do not dishonor House Shaneheit. After going down there and killing all the omen, you can return to him and this is what he would have said. Oh, there you are. Pleased to see you. You must have expunged the omen from the repository. Otherwise, their revolting screeches would still be affronting my ears. Well, you've done us a fine service, I must say. The Erd bishops will be very pleased to hear it. No, this is above their station. If I explained that this was all my idea, I could be granted an audience with Morgoth, Lord of Grace. What a wondrous opportunity, that a Viscount as myself might be seen by the Lord of Grace. Such an honor will place me amongst the most venerated Shaneheights. Oh, very sorry. I almost forgot about you completely. This Shaneheight heirloom has been held for generations. It is yours now, a reward for your fearless execution of my requests. I'm afraid its worth might be lost and tarnished, but... For everything, there is a first. For you and for House Shaneheight, and its newfound glory. Now... I need to get myself ready. If fortune favors me and I am seen by the Lord of Grace, I'd be put to shame if I didn't look my very best. After you've done this, the next time you meet him, it seems that he actually did meet with Morgoth, and he's currently dying. This is his dialogue. Kill our Lord. He is a stain upon all things golden. Kill Morgoth, kingly impostor. At this point, Viscount Shaneheit likely dies. Now, this is cut content, but it doesn't contradict anything we already know, and it clearly explains some of the mysteries that I was talking about. Most of the people on Leyendil, even in the nobility, don't know 
that Morgoth is an omen. They think very highly of him for successfully defending the capital during the Shattering. And more importantly, they know about Margit. They know about the fell omen. Viscount Shaneheit's dialogue describes Margit to have piled the traitor's corpses high outside the wall, which tracks very well with the item description for the fell omen cloak. Having slaughtered countless champions during the Shattering, the fell omen has become a horror to those who harbor ambitions for the Erd Tree, or for lordship. We know that Morgoth's goal is to defend the Erd Tree, and in order to best do that effectively, he needed to be able to act on the front lines. But he couldn't do that as Morgoth, because then he would have to have revealed that their king was an omen. And so he assumed the role of Margit the Fell Omen. As Margit, Morgoth led the Knight's Cavalry, and together they were deliverers of death for great warriors, knights, and champions. This allowed Morgoth to confront directly the other demigods during the Shattering. As you can see in this image, he's fighting Radan. And post-Shattering, Morgoth continued to keep a watchful eye on all those who had ambitions for lordship, and resumed his hunts when the Tarnished were called by Grace. Which also explains what he meant when first defeated as Margit. Cower in fear of the night. The hands of the fell omen shall brook thee no quarter. He tells you to live in fear of the night, because the Knight's Cavalry only appear at night, and they are the hands of the Fell Omen. Alright, that marks the end of this video. Please let me know if you disagree or you found something that you think I missed. As always, thank you very much for watching.